What's up, guys? Super interesting position for you here. It's white to play and save the game. Now, I say save the game because black has the queen, the bishop, and the knight, and all white has are some pawns and a knight. If black has even one extra move, they're going to bring the queen over, start threatening our king, and we're going to lose the game. So we have to do something quickly. Uh, but before I say too much, if you would like to pause, what is the only move that saves the game for white? All right, well, if you had a chance to look at that, uh, one of these three moves should probably come to your mind, right? Because this is really all we have. We have the pawns, which are you know, preparing to potentially become queens, but Black's king is kind of in a good position to stop them, and Black has a lot of pieces at their disposal. Um, if you play one of these two pawns, the bishop is simply going to go to d6. It unleashes the queen. The bishop is helping. The queen is helping. We don't really have anything. Same thing if you go here. Bishop is just going to take it, and we can't do anything. Okay, but if we play b7, it's with check, which buys us a little bit of time, and this is the only uh, saving move. Now, black has two options, here and here. If they go to b8, they've made a big mistake, and now they go from a drawn position to actually losing. It's white to play and checkmate black. See if you can find this one. All right, if you had a chance to look at that, the move is knight to d7 check. Notice how the pawns are controlling all these squares. The king is forced over to a7. Then we get the queen with check. And after the king moves up, this is checkmate. Okay, so that's a pitfall that black can fall into. But if they are smart, they will play king to a7. And now is a, I would say, difficult moment in the puzzle. What move do we play as white? There's only one correct move which saves the game. What is it? All right, if you guys had a chance to look at that, the move is b8 queen. And yes, there's nothing defending the queen, and black will simply take it. However, we needed to set something up by sacrificing the queen. What? Why did we do that? Can you see if you can find the next move? All right, well, if you had a chance to look at that, the move is c7 check. And black, again, has a choice. You can either go directly in front of the pawn or you can go up to b7. Now, they kind of transpose into the same line if they go here. So we're going to talk about the main line, king to b7. Now, what should we play here? All right, well, you may have picked up on the pattern by now, but we are going to play c8 queen again with check. And again, it's undefended and black is going to take it. So now we have sacrificed two queens and see if you can find the follow-up. All right, well, if you said d7 check, you are correct. And notice if black moves in front of the pawn now, we have a fork, so they don't want to go there. So they play king to c7, but we get the queen and force them to go there anyway, right? So here we go, one, two, three. We just sacrificed all three of our pawns, but it's worth it because now we can go knight to f7, forking the king and the queen. Black plays king to e7, we take the queen, and it looks like, whew, we can breathe a sigh of relief, but wait a minute. Black plays the move king to f6, and look at our poor knight over here trapped in the corner. Now, why is this a big deal? It's a big deal because if black has a bishop and a knight, if they take our knight and they take both of our pawns, we will lose the game. You can checkmate with the bishop and a knight and a king against a lone king, which means somehow we have to figure out what we're going to do about the fact that our knight is now trapped. Okay, so if you would like to pause, we are not out of this yet. What do we need to play here as white? All right, if you had a chance to look at that, the only move that saves the game is f5. And what we are doing is giving our knight a place to run to. So if black attacks us, we will escape here on g6. Yes, we will lose the pawn, but then we can hop over here. The knight escapes, and we're going to be able to draw. Black's not going to be able to checkmate us. With, with just these as long as we have our knight still alive and well okay so that's the idea but black says okay i have a different plan and they just take our pawn and it, they're planning to go back to f6 and again we, we would be trapped which means we have to go to f7 and now black plays king to e6 attacking it again now notice carefully we can't go here we can't go here because the knight we can't go here because the king we don't want to go back to the corner because we'll get trapped after king to f6 which means only move is check 
And now black plays king to d7. Now we don't want to go back this way because the move bishop g7 actually traps our knight again. Look at this. It's controlling all the places that our knight would like to go. The king is stopping these. The knight is stopping this one. And again, the knight is trapped. Black's going to simply come over here and take our knight. So we have to keep running this way. And black keeps chasing us. King to c7 now. And now where does the knight go? Again, can't go here. You can't go here. You can't go here. We have to go to a5. And you might be thinking, okay, we did it. We escaped. But wait a second. Black plays the move king to b6. And you have to be really careful. If you would like to pause, what move do you play in this position? All right. Well, if you had a chance to look at that, the first thing you need to understand is you can't move the king away because you lose your knight. That the king has to stay there guarding the knight. And if you move knight to b3, which looks kind of like a logical move, like let's get it away from the king, let's maybe hop over to the center of the board. Black plays the amazing knight to c3, which, by the way, is checkmate. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice checkmate. So we can't move our king, we can't move our knight. The only move left on the board is c5 check. But this looks pretty terrible because after knight takes c5 check, we're forced to walk into a discovered check which is usually a bad thing, and it's no exception here because knight to b7 unleashes the check, and black's about to take our knight. So what do we do? White to play and save the game. Well, if you had a chance to look at that, the move is king to a4, and you might be thinking, wait a second, we're losing our knight, and yes, we are, but guess what? It's a stalemate. Which means it's a draw. We tie, we save the game, black does not win. Oof. Wow, yes, so that just happened. You give up three queens, your knight gets in the corner, runs all the way across the board, gets taken anyway, only so that you can get a stalemate. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, I'll see you guys next time. As always, stay sharp, play smart, and take care.